day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Father God, thank you for the fellowship. Thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for linking us together on one accord. And of course, with your will, your spirit, Lord. We pray, we know, we all come from diverse backgrounds and experiences, Lord God, like snowflakes, which is totally different, but we're the same. Yes. And we're bound together by you. Infinite variety, commonality, Lord God, eternal commonality. We thank you for your Holy Ghost that, that binds us together on one accord. You are the, the, the glue in between us, Lord. You are the martyr in between the brick. Yes. And you hold us solid together, Father God. Commitment to you and doing your will is beyond anything else that we desire in this life. Yes. Because we don't understand that, that we understand that the, the true eternity of it and the importance of it, the eternal impact of what we're doing right now in this place, Lord, now even in this moment. This moment. Thank you for our brother Addison, Lord God, that we pray us to help sustain us. We thank you for the leadership of Pastor Taylor, whose patience is allowed us to continue together in, in debate yes. and, in, and, in, and in agreement. This is the yes. time you come in and bring revelation to your word to your us, word. where you bind us together on one accord. Lord, just come together among us right now. Let this yes. be a, a, a moment, Lord God, of significance for all of us, every last one of our lives. Yes. Seal us even more so on the faith in this hour, Lord God, that we can go forth and propagate this gospel in the kingdom yes. and get some more souls saved. This I pray in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. What what I saw, guys, what I, this 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 uh this segment of discussion is based on riding from last Sunday, and I think we all agree there was uh, several elders you all there, but the we 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 touched some nerves. Do you agree with that, Brother Addison? There's some nerves touched. I know we touched their nerves. <laughs> I know for sure. Was it Chris? <laughs> was it Chris? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah your I, gift is working, Elder. <laughs> I, 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 had to, I had to edit. But, 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 but he was valid. But at the same time, what I saw for all of us, because it was the Jimmy was also in that in that thing, too. Uh, what, what we saw was, this, this, that level of what we, uh, well, at least I was trying to portray that it ain't easy being a Christian. No, it ain't. <laughs> when, well, when we, we really you have to this, qualify that, though, Pastor. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw it at you. That's what I'm gonna do. We, we you know, that one scripture that said that the your traditions have made the word of God a non effect. Right. And what I mean tradition is, and Brother Addison and I was talking before you came in, Elder, and I'm going to use that parable, Brother Elder, uh, Brother Addison. Uh, we talk about law and order, Elder. And, and it's interesting, it's, it's a conjunction, right? There's, there's an element of the law, and then there's the word order. And... And order really is the social structure that has been outlined in a society by the powers that be. And people are, and, I, and the, the parable I've used is you take blocks. You know, growing up and you had those little blocks that you could build things on, those blocks had letters on them, A, B, C, D, all the way to, to Z. Mm -hmm. And in and, 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 and society, I, I take those blocks are the, the, the social structures of where people are supposed to behave in that box. There's people in A, which are the one percenters that have the money and the wealth and the power and the influence. Uh, there's people down from, from billionaires, which are wealthy people, to millionaires. Then you got uh, upper class, upper middle class, and upper and lower class um, income status. In other words, we even made it within the the uh, middle, uh, the income status, different class of people, right? Because it got bigger. 
Uh, so the middle class, you got the upper upper middle class, and then you got the medium, and then you got the lower middle class, and then you got the poor who lives on subsidies and, and, and anything else to, to survive with. Uh, we, we, we talk about the fact that the social structure is if you go with the, uh, the, the color, far brings in whites, blacks, Hispanics, uh, Indians, and everybody else, and how they laid out inside our society by a perceived social structure. And we were talking about the fact is that for the whites, if you go all the way back to the Civil War and so forth, they're, they're and we heard the word before, there's white trash, meaning poor people, poor black, white people live in trail parks and stuff like that. And then you was ahead. The first breaking of the social structure was the slaves. The slave, and then you had the Indians, though. I don't know where you gonna put those at, uh, Brother Addison. Were, were they beyond, behind the slaves? I, I assume they were. They, they, because they, they were. They were. They were the conquered people. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, which they were conquered. here before the slaves, so they can't be behind the slaves. No, no, I think so. I think they can. The elder brothers, you can probably correct me wrong. They were the conquered people. They, they, they lost the war. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They, they were conquered people. Yeah. They, they, they owned the land at first. They, that land was taken from them, and, and, and they were moved, just like you were saying, when you're talking about cotton and all that other stuff, they were moved west to reservations, which is really prison camps, if you want to call it. But they were moved to, to, to reservations, or they were relocated. They, they, they were taken away from the place where they follow buffalo, they live off the land. They were in beautiful, you talk about this country and how beautiful this country is, you're talking about this stuff was taken from them. And they were put out in the, in the in more of the desert part of our society, not the green lush part of our society, right? So, and that's what you call the tears of, Trail, uh, trail, right? Trail, yeah. When they marked them from Georgia to over, yeah. Yes, sir. They were moving them out, and they, they, they try to do. They try to kill those people. They try to give them germ warfare. They try to give them smallpox, and they, they, they was killing them because you couldn't use them. Uh, when they was trying to make them slaves, it just was not effective using them. So they were pushed out. So when you think about it, it has really damaged them because you talk about a conquered group of people. Then you got this free labor force that you had that basically a large portion of our country was built on the backbone of that that group. And then you had the taskmasters and the poor whites that deal with the rest of the infrastructure needed in the society. You know, we needed a blacksmith. We needed a post office. We needed the bars and the saloons and we had a structure. Then, then you had, when you especially talk about the South, then you had the plantations, and that's where the wealthy aristocrats were located at, right? Uh, and as our society continued to grow, you had the industrial age, was probably another crack in the social structure because that order created something, another, you know, another dynamics. So even technology and everything else shakes up the social structure. But we had a social structure. You had indentured servants. You had a social structure. Remember that? There was, so, there was indentured servants too. The, with the poor whites that came in as indentured servants, treated as slaves. And they they ran away. <laughs> they, 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 they had the opportunity, they ran away. It was hard to catch them because you couldn't identify them. The blacks became very convenient. The Indians apparently, they were not conditioned for that type of living. You know, the, the disease and everything else that came from the European society, their bodies weren't for that, you know. Uh, so they, they moved them out. If they could have made any of slaves, they would have. But it just didn't work, work out. So they moved them out. Uh, and then we're talking about elders. So, so, so I'm saying is those blocks, there's a social structure. And, and then the betrayal for the, the poor whites, the other was all of a sudden these free these slaves 
became free. And 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 now they're in a position to compete. Even though we had Jim Crow laws and everything else to try to keep them down, we all agree with that. That's what we're talking about with the police brutality and everything else. But despite that, and I said, I think I mentioned it last Sunday, I'm so proud. I, this is a devil put on a recording, just in case you don't get it. I'm so proud of African Americans because you have thrown our society, this order, has thrown everything it can from health issues, uh, imprisonment, uh, uh, discrimination, and, and they, this, this group of people that was brought from another land and, and, and their whole culture, the whole background, Brother Addison, their language and everything else was taken from them. And they continue to use you as an example and, and, and elder, they are still progressing. Their children are being positioned to do better than the parents. And the only thing that hurts the children is when they decided to, the ones who drop out, don't get the education, the ones who just give up and don't, you know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? You, I think we all agree that our children can go as far as they can if they stay within the system of getting the education and, and, and just being very uh, wise and the resources they accumulate as they grow, you know, get older. You know what I mean? So they do have a role that to, to, you have given them. And I know like the son you have now, and then the elder with the daughters. You got a son, you got a son too, don't you? Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think they do very well. You got one as a doctor or something? Both of them are. You got two doctors, man. Yeah, my son is a surgeon. My daughter's a psychiatrist. Hey, hey, see that, so when, when somebody who it was in an order, Brother Addison, and that block called where it was like, I'm white and, and, and I'm, I'm supposed to be above, in front of you. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, they, these other people slipping through the cracks. And, and the cracks have been made wide. I guess, and look, they, they're not cracks anymore. They're, they're, like, they're like flowing rivers or valleys yeah. of, of blacks who, I'm not, gonna, I'm not dropping out of school. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to graduate from school and I'm going to go to college, and I'm going to be, I'm going to have the audacity to think I can be an astronaut, think I can be a doctor, think I can be a lawyer, think I can be a banker. You know what I'm saying? Is uh, the audacity to break the order, regardless of the people who have used discrimination, Jim Crow's laws. You see what I'm saying, Elder? I do. And, and, and they have beaten and they're still beating those obstacles that society has tried to say, no, you don't boast to go this far. We're saying is, despite your perception, despite your view of how far I can go, my talent, my work, my ethics, and everything else showing you, oh, I can go further. And then the fact is, and I, I still, I said this one time, and I want to put this on the tape. The day they introduced Christianity to the slaves, when we talked about it before, that broke the dam that was used to keep those slaves in bondage. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I agree with that 100%. Yes, sir. Because see, because you know one of the things, and you know the matter of fact, Father, the black community, whether we the young ones today, hey, you young ones today, you, you sit there and you got you where you are because a lot of us have you wrote on the backbone of like uh, John Lewis and and, and, and Martin Luther King and, and all the other blacks that that, that that were with in the sixties and the seventies who 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 marched, who resisted. And, 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 and continue to survive even to the lynching and, and the discriminations and the Jim Crow's laws. They, 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 you wrote on the backs of them. And we gotta agree that the church, just like they had that Ebenezer church funeral today, the church, the black church, the black community 
two clues on the white, and I know we got to get it because you know the whites have to out the Quakers, helped us out in the slavery situation, right? So the church, the true church, has 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 played a leading role in the progression of the black community. Agree? Agree. Yeah, and it changed the psyche too, Ella, because see those blocks I was telling you about. The social, the order, because we talk about law and order, yep. is really we talking about the social order that society has constructed in the past. Uh, Christianity breaks the psyche of the social order. Uh, the Woody Lynch, everybody remember the, the Woody Lynch letter. Everybody listen on this video. If you don't, I know you know about the Woody Lynch letter. Uh, where they, they wanted to keep us divided and everything else. But one thing about I like about Christianity, for people listening to this video, I like the word that says, I, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. With God, all things are possible. I'm more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. It, it tells me that I got to renew my mind because see, the mind and the social order is not the order that I can live with anymore. I'm living with an order that said I'm a royal priesthood. I'm a holy nation. I'm a peculiar people. I've been called out of darkness and placed into God's marvelous light. I'm living in a, a, a system renewing my mind that said Christ came to give life and life more abundantly. It gives me the audacity. It gave our people, I'm talking about the ones, Brother Addison, that came before us. Your mother, your mother, she knew the word. And she, she, she didn't treat you, she didn't raise you to be a defeatist. She didn't raise you to be less. She raised you to be, I can do all things through Christ to strengthen you. Huh? The mentality, the psyche, the renewing of the mind is saying, I am no longer a slave. Even though that's what some people still in the slavery or the victim mode, Christianity is saying, no, I'm not a victim because I'm not looking for my answers or my success from man, especially from based on the color of the skin. I am not looking for my success through a white man, through a black man, through any man. I'm looking for my success through what, Elder? Christ. Through Christ. You see what I'm saying? That, that, that's the power to me that, that has moved us and we're, as far as we move and will continue to push us. So now my children can go to college and they can get a degree and they can dare to think to be whatever they want to be. If they want to be a doctor, they know they can be a doctor. If they want to be an engineer, they can be an engineer. The Bible teaches us to be more than, than, than what society has tried to make us to be. So that's where that law and order is what I'm saying. Christianity breaks that order. And that's something. You, we could preach that for a different way, but God is just telling us, man. <laughs> Go ahead. 